imagine working in the top 500 fortune companies where hiring managers are seeking for you why because you have the industry most recognized cpac certification you don't need to be a developer or have any prior coding experience and the best part it's easier to pass than you think by the end of this video you will have a clear roadmap to prepare for the iap cpac exam including an eight week study plan the cost of certification and tips to pass on your first attempt stick around till the end because i have got a few questions for you to test your knowledge the biggest mistake people make when preparing for cpac is that they overcomplicate it they dive into endless resources and lose themselves in legal jargons and by the end of week three they quit but what if i told you that you only need eight weeks and a structured plan to pass this exam no overwhelming no guesswork just a clear step-by-step -step roadmap to succeed and by the way if you are wondering why should i even get cpac certified let me tell you fortune 500 companies hiring web accessibility specialist prefer cpac certified professionals this credential gives you an edge in job interviews raises your credibility and proves your understanding of accessibility beyond just compliance this is your ticket to a career growth and before we start drop a comment below saying cpac ready if you are planning to take the exam this year let's see how many future cpac pros we have in this community hi i'm param singh a certified professional in web accessibility a certification that requires passing both cpac and was all right before we jump into the study plan let's break down the exam details you will get 100 multiple choice questions and you'll have two hours to finish it the passing score is roughly around 70 percent there are no prerequisites anyone can take this exam whether you are a developer ux designer content writer or a project manager the cost for non-iap members is 425 dollars for your first attempt and 325 dollars for a retake for iap members it's 325 for your first attempt and 225 dollars for retake let's understand the major differences between cpac and ws to figure out what's right for you cpac covers a broad range of accessibility topics ranging from models of accessibility disability types and others on the other hand was is more technical and focuses on coding and audits cpac is ideal for project managers designers or consultants however was is best for developers and qa specialists cpac is easier to pass when compared to ws ws requires hands-on coding skills and years of experience so if you are new to accessibility or want to work in accessibility strategy cpac is right for you but if you're already a developer and want to dive deeper into audits ws might be the better fit i have covered in detail how to pass ws certification in your first attempt by following my 12 week study plan links in description if you're still watching consider subscribing and comment cpac ready i reply to every comment the cpac exam is based on the body of knowledge which is like your ultimate study guide it's divided into three main domains and each domain has a specific weightage on the exam let's go through them one by one domain one is disabilities challenges and assistive technologies and you'll get 40 percent of your questions from this domain for this you need to focus on understanding different disabilities such as visual motor cognitive and auditory learn how these disabilities impact digital accessibility and explore assistive technologies like screen readers magnifiers and alternative input devices domain 2 talks about accessibility and universal design 
again you will get 40% of your questions from this domain for this you have to learn the principles of universal design and inclusive design study vcag and varia along with atag and their application understand how to design for all users ensuring equitable access domain 3 talks about the standards laws and the management strategies you will get 20% of your questions from this domain dive into laws like ada section 508 and global accessibility policies learn accessibility management strategies for implementing compliance in your organization understand the procurement processes and how accessibility plays a vital role in buying and selling technology here's your game plan to ace your cpac exam in your first attempt step 1 familiarize yourself with body of knowledge download the body of knowledge from the iap website and follow my 8 week study plan that's based on domain weightage step 2 study resources take online courses from dq university linkedin learning or coursera use free resources like web aim or w3c's web accessibility initiative step 3 practice with sample questions use sample questions from iap website and dq university we have three questions at the end to give you an idea of what type of questions are getting asked step 4 join study groups or find a mentor join the iap linkedin group or accessibility meetings or you can ask me questions in the comments i always respond to all the comments step 5 schedule and take the exam check iap websites for exam dates and then register now it's time to follow this step by step game plan and follow this 8 weeks routine in week 1 and 2 focus on accessibility fundamentals this is the foundation of everything you will learn so take your time with it it makes up to 40% of the exam understand universal design principles universal design is all about creating things that work for everyone regardless of their abilities think of it like designing a ramp instead of just stairs it benefits everyone and not just people in wheelchairs Dive into the seven principles of universal design. These are your golden rules for creating inclusive experiences. Learn about different disabilities and their impact. Disabilities aren't one size fit all. They are visual, auditory, motor, and cognitive disabilities. Each affect how people interact with assistive technologies. For example, someone with a visual impairment might use a screen reader. while someone with a motor disability might rely on a voice command understanding these differences is key to designing for accessibility try using a screen reader for a day it will give you a whole new perspective on how people with visual impairment navigate the web trust me it's really an eye opening experience week 3 and 4 is when you focus on accessibility standards and laws This again contributes to the 40% of the exam. So we have to prepare really well. Study VCAG, ADA, Section 508 and other laws. VCAG or Web Content Accessibility Guidelines is the gold standard for web accessibility. It's organized into four principles: perceivable, operable, understandable and robust, or commonly known as POR. ADA or Americans with Disabilities Act and Section 508 are US laws that require accessibility in public spaces and digital content. Don't forget to look into the international laws too, like EN 305 549 in Europe. Learn how to apply these standards in real projects. It's not enough just to know these rules. You need to know how to use them. For example, if you are designing a website How do you make sure it meets all these regulations? Practice by auditing a website or an application. Use free tools like Axe DevTool to check for accessibility issues. 
comment if you knew that VCAC 2.2 was released in 2023 with eight new success criteria and one success criteria was removed. Comment which success criteria was removed from VCAC 2.2. Week 5 and 6 is when you focus on assistive technologies and accessible design. This makes up to 20% of the exam. But don't let the smaller percentage fool you. It's very important. Explore tools like screen readers, braille displays and voice recognition softwares. Assistive technologies are the tools that people with disabilities use to interact with your digital content. Screen readers like JAWS and NVDA read text aloud, while Braille displays convert text into Braille. Voice recognition software like Dragon allows users to control their devices with their voice. Learn how to design accessible interfaces. Designing for accessibility means thinking about things like color contrast, keyboard navigation and semantic HTML. For example, make sure your buttons are labeled correctly so a screen reader can announce them properly. Here's the challenge. Try navigating your website using only your keyboard. No mouse allowed. It will show you how important keyboard accessibility is. In week 7, we review and practice. By now, you have covered all the domains. So this week is about solidifying your knowledge. Take practice exams. Use the sample questions from the IAP website and DQ University. Time yourself to simulate the real exam experience. Remember, it's okay if you don't get everything right the first time. The goal is to learn and improve. Week 8 is all about your final preparation. This is your chance to tie everything together and build your confidence. Revise key concepts. Go through your notes and highlight the most important points. Focus on key items from each domain and trust your preparation. I understand, preparing for CPAC exam is challenging, but with the right preparation, you can do it. Now, it's time to test your knowledge. These are the type of questions that might be asked. Comment your answers in the comment section and I will let you know if you got them right or not. Question 1. Which of the following is true about the medical model of disability? A. Focuses on eliminating barriers through innovative solution. B. Views people with disabilities as victims of their condition. Or C. Focuses solely on biological aspects of disability. Or option D. Consider the impact of the physical environment. Second question. Which is not an example of assistive technology for web accessibility? Is it screen readers, refreshable braille devices, wheelchair or mouth stick? Question 3. 23% of people with disabilities aged 65 or older in US have this type of disability. Is it vision, hearing, self-care or ambulatory? Comment your answers in the comment section. This certification is an investment in your future. It's not just about passing the exam, it's about becoming a better advocate of accessibility. If you found this valuable, smash that like button. It really helps spread accessibility awareness. Drop a comment saying CPAC ready if you are going for this certification. Subscribe for more accessibility insights. This is Param Singh, signing off.